What's going on guys? This is That Home Theater Dude back with another episode. I've been uh, holding on to this footage for quite some time. It's whenever my... This is the new Denon. I used to have a... The, it's Big Brother, the 6300. This is the Denon 4400. And I was trying to do a uh, you know, subwoofer strobe light video. Um, those are pretty popular. Uh, I got a lot of footage, but then uh, the Denon blew up. So I will warn everyone that's going to watch this, it contains a strobe light. So if you are prone to seizures, please don't watch this video. Also, uh, it contains, you know, destruction of this guy. So you've been warned. If you have kids, put them in bed. Uh, it's it's going to get crazy. All right, let me show you. So uh, since that video, I have learned a couple things. Uh, one, don't push the limits of your equipment. <laughs> Obviously, it's all, it's really important to buy things from a reputable source too. I mean, the whenever I bought it, it wasn't that old. Um, I got it around Christmas time, the Denon, and uh, I bought it from Amazon, and I got it um, from a reputable source. I actually went on Denon's website before I bought it, just to make sure that there was gonna be no problem with like warranty or anything. I mean, like it's, I don't know, you, know, know about you guys, but I'm not used to spending a whole lot of money all at once on electronics. Uh, electronics are kind of iffy. So if, if they're gonna fail, they're gonna fail in the first couple months that you own them, or you know, uh, they're just gonna fail in a really long time. So those extended warranties, I'm not really sure if they're, they're worth it, but definitely recommend grabbing your electronics not used, not secondhand, but from a trusted source so that your warranty is 100% intact. So luck luckily enough, I got to replace the Denon. Um, I got to replace it uh, un un under warranty, so they gave me a full refund on that, so I bought the 4400 here. But besides that, um, I don't think I'm gonna try that strobe, strobe light video ever again, because <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't wanna be without my receiver or I don't wanna damage any, any of the equipment. Um, Obviously, I was running it too hot, so um, not a good idea either. So uh, respect the limits of what you guys have for your, your home theater, your equipment. Um, I was trying to make a video. I thought that was cool, but uh, it turned out not cool at all because <laughs> no one wants to bust any of their equipment. I mean, this thing's kind of expensive too, so uh, just be careful out there. I just wanted to show this video. I know I've been holding on to this footage for quite some time, but... I needed to show it um, to share my my story with other people, so that they don't, you know, they don't fall in the same uh, they don't fall the same heartbreak. All right, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check you guys next time. Yes.